get Daniel Madison here with another magic video. Well, actually, it's not Daniel Madison. It's Daniel Madison's deck. <laughs> I'm sure everyone wants to see Daniel Madison's deck, right? His, his British deck. Who wants to see Daniel Madison's deck? Uh, it's right here, actually. It's uh, this. This is the deck that I'm talking about. Let's get this with the nice background there. So this is the deck that I'm going to be looking at today and telling you if you should get it. This is the, the Madison Rounders Pink Edition right here from your favorite magic company and mine, Illusionist.com. Now the Rounders are actually one of my favorite decks, so let's see if they do it justice with the, the Bret Hart Edition. Uh, hit the like button if you get that reference. So let's just, uh, let's just, ju let's just jump right into it and see how the... Um, the cards are let's just do that um whoa how do we get here man that production value really is second to none right uh so here we're going to be taking a look at the uh daniel madison rounders these are the uh, the new pink edition of the playing cards to let you know if you should get a camera with focus this bad there there you go to let you know if you should get a uh, this deck of cards so uh, let's just take a look at the cellophane, you guys know that I'm a big fan of cellophane when it comes to playing cards. Really, it's my favorite part of the cards. I don't even need the playing cards. All I need is the cellophane, and I'm, I'm satisfied in all ways. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about the cellophane, right? Uh, so I like the tautness, the tautness of the cellophane against the, the, the whiteness of the box. It's a little bit of a kind of a political speech, a political statement, I guess. But you know what? The, the, the cellophane really does cling to the nice white box uh, fairly well, I would say. It's a little bit loose on some of the, uh, like here, it's a little bit loose. It almost feels like the deck is, uh, you could press in the deck. That's kind of an odd thing. I haven't seen that before, but uh, it's nice, I gotta say. So if you're gonna buy these for the cellophane, definitely, I would go for it. I would go for it just for the, the cellophane alone. So let's just jump right into these uh, puppies here. Now, when it comes to opening playing cards up, it's very important that you are very precise when it comes to the uh, incisions that you make on the cards because that's really gonna determine uh, how the cards uh, are and, and if the cards are gonna be good quality when they come out. So you gotta make sure to, uh, to you know, have the nice little bit of an incision there. So let's just take off the cellophane. Oh boy, it's my favorite part right here. Here we go, here's my favorite part. Oh, oh yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. So here uh, we have a nice little bit of uh, the little, you know, the little usual thing right here. This is always kind of good to keep uh, for later, you guys have seen my previous reviews, know that I'm a huge fan of the little ribbon, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun for the whole family. So uh, here, let's just take a look at the uh, actual box itself. Let's remove the cellophane. Oh, oh man, it's like, uh, it's like making love to your grandmother, right? Oh man, this is so, oh, so good. This, this is actually my favorite part of it. I don't even know if I should do the rest of this. This is honestly, I'm already satisfied. Um, let's, just, let's just do the rest of it. Uh, so here, let's look at the box. The box feels nice. It has a very nice sort of, um, very nice sort of uh, playing card feel. I really haven't felt a box like this. It feels like the entire box is made out of uh, playing cards. That's kind of an odd thing. But here we have Madison Rounders. Quality playing cards. We're about to see. You can't tell me if they're quality yet. You, you um, jump in the gun here. Uh, we have a little bit of a illusionist Madison Rounders meme on top with the Madison logo. That's kind of hot, uh, especially in this pink. Nothing here. On the bottom, we have their uh, their very edgy sort of dragon eagle thing saying illusionist playing card company, San Rafael, California. I'm coming to you uh, for you 100K. Uh, so we have the nice little barcode here and we have the pink back. You see the nice little hotness. You see how that looks. Oh boy, I'm so excited. So let's just peel this uh, puppy back. Oh, oh yeah. It's just like when you pee. And uh, here we have a little bit of a logo here. A little bit of a logo, it says JL. And uh, here it says MD, PM, sorry, P PM, uh, JL, kind of odd, right? Kind of a little bit of an odd little thing there. Maybe the PM stands for uh, Prime Meridian and the uh, JL stands for y Yushin Thunder Liger, maybe, I guess. That could possibly be uh, one of the reasons why they have it there. Okay, so let's just peel this back. Let's take the cards out. Oh man, all right, let's take a look inside of the card box. You guys know that I like looking at the card box here, so let's just take a look inside. Here we have a nice little bit of a good feeling card box. It's good, I would say. Uh, again, you guys know I like the little little puppet that comes with this. Hey guys, make sure to like and subscribe this video. Uh, if not, 
then I will find you and uh, kill all your loved ones. Yay! Um, so this is good. It's good. Good card box. Good solid card box. Let's take a look at the cards, though. Let's take a look at the cards. Uh, Daniel Madison, I think, is most well known for his super edgy uh, designs on the Jokers. So you see that this is um, definitely no exception. We have a super edgy Joker here. Uh, let's let's just do one of these. Oh yeah, boy! Look at that brand new deck order. Yeah, boy! Look at that! Look at that fanning action right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is what's gonna get all the views right here. Let's just. There you go. That's that's heat. That's heated. So here we have a pink sort of raven holding a switchblade. Again, very edgy, but this time it's pink. I guess that's a kind of a thing now. And the other Joker is um, is not. So you could do a little bit of a color change here. You could be like, hey, uh, did you see what happened when the the Joker went to the the that special bar in the beach? No, you don't see what happened. Well, he came back um, pink. Haha. <laughs> because he likes other ravens of the same. Here, uh, that's you could kind of do some hot memes with that, that's cool. Uh, and here we have the ace, that classic Madison rounder sort of thing. Some sort of Latin here in the bottom says caveat M emptor. Emptor, again, uh, I'm not familiar with what that means. If you guys know what that means, uh, don't leave it in the comments. Don't, please don't, don't, don't leave it in the comments. So uh, we have the uh, ace of spades here, kind of a nice looking ace. We have the two, very uh, standard design here, the, all the way up to the three. You guys know how to count? Yeah, you guys know how to count. Uh, we have the 10, we have the uh, normal jack, a little bit of a darker sort of motif here. Again, Daniel Madison is very edgy. So you see there's a little bit of a more flat look, a uh, color color scheme to this. King of spades, uh, he doesn't seem to have adorned this with one of his buddies. Usually the kings are like some of his buddies. Here it's uh, no one, it's just uh, the standard king. And we have the uh, aces right here, a little bit uh, darker of a red, you know, again, to go with the super edgy motif that Daniel Madison usually likes to go with. Uh, King of Diamonds, yeah, here we have uh, some dude. Here we have some dude. You see the super edgy hand tat? You see that with the, the backwards cross? Oh man, I, I wanna listen to Evanescence right now so bad. Uh, the Kissing King's actually funny. It's uh, funny enough that he has the Kissing Kings uh, be one of his buddies and uh, uh, just a normal king. So whatever that means, right? I guess that goes with the pink. So let's look through these. We have uh, normal cards here. The, the clubs are all normal. King of Hearts, King of Hearts is normal, you see that? Looking like a normal king with the knife through his head. A little bit of a trivia there. And that's really the uh, that's really the only change here. We have uh, the ace, we, we get a little bit of a bonus here. Nice Daniel Madison playing card here, saying part of the illusionist playing card company, Madison Cards, right? And we get a, a double back pink card, which gives us a nice little reason to look at the back design of these cards. Look at the back design. We have the standard Daniel Madison pink Right there, the rounder's back design with the pink sort of, a, it's a hot pink right there. Look at that. I wouldn't say it's like a piggy pink, but it's definitely a, a, a Bret Hart pink, as I would call it here. Uh, the cards, by the way, they feel uh, really good. You guys know that I like the uh, qualifications here of skin feel, and here they feel really good on your skin, I would say. You know, it's like, uh, you know what it feels like? It feels like, imagine if you were to kill a small squirrel and then skin it and rub that against your... Uh, and you rub that against your hand. That's exactly what it feels like. Uh, you know, honestly, it's a weird feeling. Let's be honest here. It's a little bit of a weird feeling. It's smooth. Uh, they're very smooth. The cards are a little bit thinner than usual. I've had uh, Daniel Madison decks before, and this one feels a little bit thinner than uh, the other usual ones, but that's actually a good thing. It feels like the cards are a little bit more manageable. They're not as thick as Illusionist cards. Illusionist, I think, tries to overcompensate uh, for their eyeliner games, so they, they usually have very thick cards. These are uh, very, very thin cards. They're, they feel really nice in the hands. I gotta say, they're, they're definitely, definitely good on the skin feel. On the slipperiness, uh, slipperiness factor, they're really good as well. Cards are pretty slippery uh, in a good way, so you could do all your little all your little slides. If you want to do all those edgy cardistry moves, you could definitely do that and get um, no attention from women on Instagram. So, uh, but definitely nice. Let's see how they pressure fan here. Oof, look at that. Let's do that one more time. Oh yeah, boy. Look at that heat right there. That's what I'm talking about. Can you do this super edgy thing with it? Yeah, you can. You could totally do that. You could totally do this edgy thing that people tend to do on uh, Instagram pictures, right? But yeah, overall, overall, I would say definitely, definitely feels different than the other Madison decks. I gotta say, very impressive, Daniel, very impressive. I know you personally didn't uh, print the cards themselves. You know, I, I imagine you in your study, in your uh, chateau, right? In the dark side of an alley, just printing these cards by hand, sweating, 
blood all over the cards. That's how I picture uh, Daniel Madison. So uh, definitely, definitely would say pick these cards up if you get the chance. They they feel really nice. They're good. Um, they're smooth. They're thin. So definitely, uh, definitely gets my recommendation. I'm gonna put one Jackie Chan. It gets one entire Jackie Chan out of one. So uh, that's that. Those are the cards, guys. Those are the cards. I gotta say, they really feel different than the other Madison rounders. They feel smoother, they feel thinner. It's almost like a, an upgrade, you know? So uh, definitely pick those up if you guys like sort of edgy, edgy jokers. And if you guys like uh, black and white sort of memes, definitely pick these up. Uh, good recommendation. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that review. I'm gonna go figure out different ways to use pocket lint to start a fire. <laughs>